This summer, I hiked one of the most dangerous technical hiking routes in Japan, and it took me a year to plan this hiking project. Because I had to do it alone. My friends were busy, and no one in the family was crazy enough to join me, so let me do it myself. Yarihotaka Circuit is a classic route that introduces two well known mountains in Japan, Mount Okuhotaka and Mount Yari. This route also gives access to almost half of the 3,000 meter mountain peaks in Japan and a chance to challenge the infamous Daikireto or the Big Cut. In this video, I will share with you how I hiked this fearsome yet rewarding hiking course in Japan. It's 10 p.m. I'm at Shinjuku bus terminal right now waiting for my bus ride to Kamikochi and I'm hiking tomorrow. I should arrive in Kamikochi at around 5.30 in the morning. For this trip, I reserved a green car seat that costs 12,200 yen. Now, did I make the right decision or should I have just stayed in a hotel? We will see. Let's see how my seat looks like. Okay, okay, that ain't so bad, but yeah, I guess I should have stayed in a hotel. It's all good. The reason I did this is because I'd like to have an early start tomorrow. But would you spend 12,200 yen with almost a seven hour ride on a night bus? Let me know. Good morning. I didn't have enough sleep, but phase one was a success. And this is day one of my hiking project. It's 6 a.m. We've got a rainy weather. I'm in Kamikochi right now. Basically, it's a nine hour hike from Kamikochi to Yarigata Kesanso. We got a terrible weather, but the view is not so bad. Fucking exhausted. This weather, this coldness is draining my energy. But uh, I see my goal, so that's Yarigatake and that's Yarigatake san. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Hold me. I've just arrived at Yarigata Kesanso. Tomorrow, I'll traverse one of the most technical hikes in Japan, so... This is the fifth tallest mountain in the country and famously known as the Matterhorn of Japan. It is considered the Matterhorn of Japan maybe because it looks similar to the one in Switzerland. It's 4.30 in the morning and this is day two of Yari Hotaka Circuit. I could stay here all day but I have to get down because it's gonna be a long day and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Um, I'm so hungry. Once again, this is Mount Yari standing at 3,180 meters, the fifth tallest mountain in Japan. And the rocks. These chains are fucking slippery. Now it's time to traverse the infamous Daikireto. Right now, I'm about to traverse one of the most technical routes in Japan. Uh, I can't even catch my breath. Hopefully, everything goes well and I arrive Kita Hotakagoya safely. Yeah. 
I'm actually a bit worried because we have a fog and I hope it doesn't rain though See those stairs? That's scary Oh Jesus And that, ladies and gentlemen, Daikireto. Honestly, I'm scared but excited at the same time. It is one of the most technical hikes in Japan that can be done without the use of any equipment. It's like a trophy for hiking enthusiasts like me. But it also has taken many lives already. And I would never ever <sighs> underestimate it in climbing on rainy days. So the technique is to climb quietly and be very careful. But I also have to go a little faster because I don't want the weather changing on me while traversing the technical parts. number two okay. this is H peak or the Hasegawa peak standing at 2,841 meters. Hey guys, look, <laughs> I did it, Jesus, oh my goodness. Now, I have to get to my accommodation really, really fast because the weather is not looking good as you can see, so. so hungry why is it always the final approach the hardest I don't know. I need a beer definitely rock rock sorry I hope there was no one there
congratulations, John. You just reached Kitaho Takagoya and finished Taikireto. Yay! I'm exhausted. I'm hungry. I want a delicious meal. Can we have some curry? Jesus Christ. Wow, guys. That was scary and intense. To those who would like to do this route, I would suggest building your strength and learning different scrambling techniques and skills before challenging this route. I mean, doing so would make you confident. I guess. I mean, that's what I did. So, there you go. Would you hike Daikireto alone? Well, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you are well prepared, have acquired sufficient hiking experience and strong enough, then take the challenge. It's worth it. Alright, sun is up. This is day three and the final day of this project. Let me tell you the reason why I chose to stay in this mountain hut. This the reason why I stayed in this mountain. It's because I wanted to see this, the Daikireto and Yarigatake in one perfect picture. It's like a dream come true. I'm on my way to Hotaka Sanso and to the third highest peak in Japan. This trail right here is very dangerous. I heard from the people at the hut that it is scarier than Daikireto. <laughs> Jesus, this is so scary. Now I know why they say it's almost same as the Daikireto thing. But guys, always check your what do you call these chains before using them. Double check. Always hold on to the rocks. I'm glad it's not raining today. Because if it's raining, this would be harder. And that bolts. And there's a ladder over there as well. And it's a big fall down. <laughs> oh no, I'm scared. It's okay. I did it. I did it, guys. Grow hard about what you want to be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. That's Okuhotaka, the third highest mountain in Japan. So big. I'm almost there, guys. First, I need to freaking climb up this one and then go down. Karasawa dake. Blood in circulation, one step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control, and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be it. Now that I've reached all of my destinations and objectives, I have to get out of this mountain alive and injured and more handsome. You know, being more handsome is one of the many things that is so difficult to achieve in life, especially for men, but not in the mountains because I have no competition! <laughs> I'm freaking exhausted, man. Uh, I shouldn't have climbed my Hotaka. It drained all of my energy. I still got two more hours, three, before I reach the bus terminal in Kamikochi. That's a long way to go. Huh. So yeah, I just entered the tree line and 45 minutes down to Dakesawa. My legs are actually on their limits. Huh. But so far, 
but still manage. Jesus, I reached it. I'm back at Kamikochi, safe and sound. I've never done anything like this, so this is great. I'm very delighted and speechless. Remember I told you at the beginning of this video that it took me a year to plan this project. But honestly, I could have done it earlier. I could have planned this hike in just two months and I could have done it last year. It's just that I kept sabotaging myself, procrastinating, giving myself foolish reasons not to go, you know? Just like filling my heads with negative thoughts like what if I get injured, what if I fall, and what if I die? What if? That's when I realized after all this time the mountain I really have to conquer was me. I just have to do it. Well, I'm leaving the mountains for now, we'll surely be back sometime soon. And if you have followed me throughout this journey, you are the best. It's been Johnny. Thank you, mountains. I hope this video inspired you to go out and explore the world. If you'd like to know more about hiking in Japan, please subscribe. And I'm sure you'd learn a lot of things about Japan from my channel.